So if you get a denture wearer in your office, what are their options when it comes to dental implants? There are quite a few, and we're just going to go through a few. I personally like to have teeth that stay in the mouth all the time. And okay. that's what we ask the patient. Do you want something that stays in all the time, or do you want something that comes out, put in the glass? So just say you go with your regular dentures in, out. They're not held in by anything. It's basically gravity and spit. Okay. With that, we change to dental implants, and we have a, a system called the Snap-on. And right. it clicks right into place. And we can use two implants, two in the front. We can use three, and or we can use four. The more you put in, the and just teeth they, that snap they in. click in. You know when you, back in the day with the jeans jackets, the grommet, you, yeah, you yeah, yeah. snap. And that's what it is. And the biggest complaint about that, which there's none, is that they're hard to get out because they're so used to just flipping their teeth out with their tongue. And then particularly on the upper, if you have a current denture, everybody that wears one knows you drink your coffee. When you first got your denture, it hits the back of your throat and your eyes bug out of your head because it burns you. Okay. Well, now we put the snap-ons in, they're staying in, and the palate is open, so you can taste the coffee and also burn yourself if you're not aware of it. That's <laughs> okay. the, another complaint. And then you can also have something that's called fixed, meaning they don't come out. They, you brush, you water pick, it feels natural, the roof of the mouth is open, they're like your real teeth. So upper and lower teeth supported by like four or six implants? It, 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 we call it all on X, you know, okay. so it could be four, it could be five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And it depends on how big you are too. So if you have the bone, we can use more implants. Now, what about people that have been wearing a denture like 20 years or 10 years, can they still get this done? Or do they not have enough bone? Well, that's a good question. So we don't know if you don't have enough bone until we take the x-ray that goes around your head. That's called a cone beam. Think of an ice cream cone. Just goes around your head. Now I have a three-dimensional image I could turn you upside down without even having to look okay. in your mouth. And then we can see the volume. It's called how much is there. Can we put the implants in place to attach either the snap-on or the screw retain? Um, if you've had a denture for 20 years, you could be fortunate and have a lot of bone. But if you didn't, most people are okay with an upper denture, but we definitely want to do something that snaps on or is uh, screwed in down into the, the lower jaw so that it feels more natural. So they can do it. Absolutely.